What's going on, Notre Dame fans? Mike Singer and Tim Hyde here from Blue and Gold with some breaking news. Class of 2023, offensive lineman Chris Tarek from Glen Ellen, Illinois, Glenbard West High School, has flipped his commitment from the Wisconsin Badgers to your Notre Dame Fighting Irish. Uh, Tim and I are going to break down the news. Um, but before we get into it, please hit the thumbs up if you like what you see in this video. And of course, consider subscribing to our YouTube channel so you can stay up to date on all the latest Notre Dame football and recruiting content. The YouTube videos, we can only do so much. The, the, our website, blueandgold.com, so much more information on this news and all Notre Dame football and recruiting content. So head over to the website, $10 gets you access through the start of next football season. Mr. Hyde, yeah, the news of the day. Again here, folks, Chris Tarek flipping his commitment um, from Wisconsin to Notre Dame. Not a highly ranked guy at this point. He's listed at 6'6", 295. But I've, I mean, I'll, when you read up on him, I mean, he's been up near 330 pounds. He's just a um, a specimen. I think he's closer to about 6'5", 305 might be the latest um, height weight on him. Multi-sport athletes, played rugby, wrestle like. He is just a man. Uh, and again, the rankings, um, you know, 24-7 on three and ESPN, ESPN have him around the number 50, you know, offensive lineman nationally, you know, at that position. Rivals is is much higher on him having as a four-star prospect. But we'll go ahead and pop on his film and, excuse me, his film. And Tim, you can tell us what you think. Yeah, I mean, I remember when they first offered him. And sometimes when you watch uh, – you know, guys late offers like, oh, you know, what's happening type of player he is. First thing I noticed when I walked, you know, when they first offered him, what, what, just a couple months ago, I think when the news broke that they were recruiting him was his absolute size. He is not a guy you got to feed. He's not a guy you got to wait three years for him to get in the weight room and whatnot. He is a large road grader in the, in the greatest sense. He's a big dude, right tackle, right guard type of football player. You know, instantly thought, thought of Aaron Banks when I saw him, just his natural size. You know, Banks was a, obviously a guy who came in redshirted and then played and playing outstanding for the 49ers this year, one of the uh, you know top second-year guards in the NFL, uh, playing really good football. Really reminds me of him. Good low base in a lot of the film. Uh, violent point of attack. Some of the things I, – I mean, look at that pancake right there. Some of the things I, you know, always look for is hand placement – uh, feet with the hands as they're moving together. And he has a lot of those tools. I know the ranking is low. I I don't know, man. When I watch him, he's a Big Ten football player. And those are his big offers. And I'm a big fan of Iowa, Wisconsin. It, yes, Joe Alt got an offer from them, right? And if you get offers from these schools, these guys produce NFL offensive linemen. I think Wisconsin and Notre Dame are tied for the most in the NFL right now. So, if those two offensive line producing schools offer you, Notre Dame comes in the fray. He's look, look at look at that damn block on that guy. He's definitely a heck of a football player to go with this class. And my last take is keep filling this class as you're going to talk about Mike. And it's just constantly replenishing bodies in this whole offensive line class. They're going to have five to go with last year's group. Probably all going to red shirt in 2023 and see where they fall in 24 and down the road. And I think that's great for Notre Dame's future. Yep. So Tarek committed to Wisconsin at the end of June over Illinois, Iowa, and Michigan. Those are the other schools he took official visits to. Notre Dame offered in October. He visited for the Stanford game. And um, yeah, I kind of just was bowling between Wisconsin and Notre Dame. He, he had told me that Notre Dame, he was very happily committed to the Badgers, but Notre Dame was yeah. the only school he was going to look at. Um, but then, and this was despite Wisconsin firing Paul Christ and the uncertainty there. But I think if Wisconsin would have kept Jim Leonard as head coach and kept that same offensive line coach, and uh, I know um, uh, Tarek's high school offensive line coach played at Wisconsin. So I think, I do think that if that if Wisconsin would have kept their continuity, it would have been a lot harder for Notre Dame to pull off this flip. But, um, on, on what is it Sunday around, I was eating lunch and I see that, uh, you know, Luke Fickle is going to take over yeah. as Wisconsin head coach. And it shouldn't come as a surprise that just soon afterwards, uh, or maybe not surprise. It's, it's, it's not a coincidence. I should say that Tarek's you know, flip from Wisconsin to Notre Dame is taking place so shortly afterwards. So, you know, they're going to get a new coach, new coaches in there. Lots of uncertainty at Wisconsin, you know, what, what that looks like. So he went ahead and 
locked in with Notre Dame, um, you know, a school that um, he really likes and um, I believe he's taken an official visit to Notre Dame this weekend as well. So some interesting notes. Um, He's from Glen Ellen, Illinois. That's the same area that Notre Dame class of 2024 wide receiver commit Cam Williams is from. So they played peewee ball growing up. Um, Cam Williams is what at Glenbard South and Tarek's at Glenbard West. Glenbard West is also the high school of Chris Watt. Uh, and Notre Dame has a walk on, a preferred walk on punter kicker uh, at, at Glenbard West Side, the young man. I don't know how to pronounce his name. Um, but yeah, so some kind of interesting tidbits there. Class 8A, um, all, all state offensive lineman is, is Chris Tarek. So yeah, I think it's a solid get to him. Again, he's not super highly ranked. Um, but it's, uh, yeah, it's, look, I mean, I, I want to pop up as well. Notre Dame's, um, just their offensive line class in general. Cause they, yeah, this is five. Um, like you had mentioned, that's actually three straight years yep. of Notre Dame taking five. You have, of course, uh, Charles Jagasaw, which is, you know, that, that five star, you know, at least per on three, you got Joe Auding, um, who's another interior offensive lineman, uh, Sullivan Absher a top 100 player per on three. That's a tackle, in my opinion. Then Sam Pendleton, um, a four-star recruit per the on three consensus, another kind of interior guy. So do you like the breakdown of this offensive line class? Because um, Tarek looks to be – he told me back in October that Notre Dame was recruiting him as a guard, likely at right, at right guard. Mm-hmm. I think Jagasaw and Absher, again, are your tackles, and then Pendleton, Odding, and um, and Tarek would make up your interior three. Do you, do you kind of like the balance here, or would you like it to be – just all true tackles and move them inside. Does it matter? Well, the good thing is they're all outside of Odding. They're all offensive tackles in high school. Yeah. So they are going to move, you know, obviously two of them inside. So, you know, Harry, he, you know, coach, he's went out and got ta- tackles to move a few inside. I like the fact that they went after Tarek and he was the guy. He was the one they're like, Hey, you're the guy we want to be that fifth guy. And they stayed on that. They didn't go out and offer 15, guys and they took the first guy they was like no you're the guy we found just like you said you're down the road and in, in outside of chicago you're the guy we're going to recruit heavily uh, to come in and, and fit that mold for us i really like that you know it, it, as far as his recruiting goes and as far as rankings goes you can you see the difference between jagasaw and him jagasaw's got instant instant violent get off off the ball i mean that's a five star compared to where Tarek is. Tarek has really good fundamentals. He's got to get a little bit lower. That's going to come as all. He's, he's a big offensive lineman. On sometimes in high school, they have a hard time bending their knees. He does do a good job bending, cons- not as consistently as some other guys, but he'll get there. I like him as the fifth guy. I like him being an inside guy. Absher is very fast, very good athlete. I think that's why I know you've always talked how they've always had him ranked really high on their offensive tackle board. And Jagasaw, I think, is a well-rounded right, left tackle wherever he falls in. He's a you know outstanding, outstanding, you know, you know, multiple athlete as well. So it's a good group of football players. Odding as athletic as could be, another one they went out and found. Pendleton's film is outstanding. So it's a good group. And when you look at these three years, correct? And you let these guys develop and grow. Notre Dame has a great history of playing juniors after two years in the program. And I know people like to rush. Why isn't he playing right away with these guys? Let him eat lift and get uh, beat up on the practice field. And we'll see you in three years. Yeah. This is Notre Dame's fifth player. They have flipped from another school. You have Tarek, Kenny Minchie, who flipped from Pittsburgh, yeah. Dylan Edwards flipped from Kansas state, the, the speedy running back. And then a couple defensive linemen, Armel Mookum flipped from Stanford back in August and Bubakar Traore, um, what would that been in the spring flipped yeah. from Boston College? So I think 2021 is Notre Dame's class with the highest. I think it was six or seven guys flipped, um, you know, to Notre Dame. And that that was the COVID cycle. That was a crazy one. But um, yeah, Chris Tarek flipping his commitment from Wisconsin to Notre Dame. Drop a thumbs up on this video, folks. I know you liked what you saw because it's a new commitment for the Fighting Irish. Stay tuned for more Notre Dame football and recruiting content right here on our Blue and Gold YouTube channel. And folks, we'll catch you next time.